Hey everybody, Norm from Tessie here at Maker Faire 2016. There are a lot of cool robotics projects and a lot of cool 3D printed projects. And here's a combination of both. This is an execution of a telepresence robot. Ali, you and your team are from uh, Galileo, oh, yeah. Guatemala. Galileo University in Guatemala, yes. And you guys have been working on this telepresence robot for a couple of years now. How did it begin and where did you guys get the design for this robot? Well, uh, we actually got a 3D printer at the university, and it was kind of those toys that you don't know what to do with it, so we were kind of like looking for projects, and we started uh, doing uh, prosthetic devices, so that's another project that we have, and so after the prosthetic devices got out, like word got out in Guatemala, and uh, a, a company donated two 3D printers so we could continue the research on that. So now that we had two 3D printers, we are like, okay, now we can make the team larger and start building something bigger. So the InMove project was a project that we really loved, like we really wanted to build it. I mean, who doesn't want to have an Android, like a robot in your house? So yeah, we started um, decide, like printing it. This is a, a project made by Gael, he's a French guy, so he designs all the parts. It's all open source, it's a big community, super nice. But we wanted to add something to it because we're engineers, right? So what we thought was, you know, like we could add the, the, the well, telepresence element to it. So what we have here is the Oculus Rift, and then we started testing for various motion capture systems. Uh, so this has some uh, high definition cameras here in the eyes, and that gets projected into the Oculus. And then uh, it has also binaural audio. So th this has some microphones and that gets transmitted into the, into the ears. You really get the sensation that you are inside it. Um, sometimes I say that if you go to the zoo and you see a lion inside a cage, you don't really get afraid, you know, like he's inside a cage. But if you go inside the cage, that's a totally different experience. So I kind of think that's what's going on here. Like when you get to control the movements of the robot and however you move, like the robot moves, you really feel that you're there. Uh, the two main senses of the humans are vision and hearing, so you get both of them here. And the ne next step was to add uh, the motion capture system, so here we're using the perception neuron uh, to control it, so that goes into the computer, and then that information is sent into the servo motors, and then yeah, you can control it, you know, like move your hands, and however the you move, the robot moves. And I think where we want to take this, the next step would be like to have this working properly, but uh, after that, maybe add some AI, and instead of having to program your robot to do things, you can just show him, you know, like you can just walk and then he can learn to walk, or you can, you know, cook an omelet and then he can now know how to cook an omelet. So I think that's where we want to take this project. That's so cool, because everything you're talking about that you mentioned, from the DK2 Oculus, the perception neuron system, things that you kickstarted, backed, and even 3D print open source designs, these are all off the shelf parts or software you can download and you're running off a laptop. It's not very computationally intensive. Um, and it's not about designing this robot so it can be the strongest telepresence robot or have the widest range of movement. You're talking about giving you the psychological sense of being somewhere else and getting capturing the vision system, the audio system, and then some per perception system. Yeah. So yeah, actually like we don't have a lot of money or funding at the university. So a lot of the things that we buy is, you know, it has to be low cost. It has to be accessible to everyone. And that this project is also open source because we kind of want to give back to the community that gave us all of this knowledge and, you know, how to. And the InMove system, which is its own open source project, allows you to 3D print basically a humanoid um, structure. And it has a range of movement. You have servos in here. How do they, can you talk about how it articulates? So yeah, uh, like for example, here it has five servo motors, one for each finger and then it has another one for the wrist. The good thing is that you have a lot of space. So this is hollow inside, so you, you can actually get to put a lot of the things inside. And what's the end goal? Are you, are, is there some point where you want to start reprinting the whole thing again with lessons learned to add more capability for pow more powerful server motors or add more sensors in there? When does this version one end and version two begin? Actually, that's part of the, the great thing about being in, in a community that it's always being re-implemented, you know? Like, we've 3D printed this I don't know how many times, you know? Like, and we've, like, at the beginning we were using PLA, but it was, it got to a point where everything started breaking. So we couldn't advance anymore in the printing because we were just reprinting and reprinting and reprinting. So now we're printing on ABS, uh, we're using a lot of infill, so, especially for the moving parts. Um, then there are some things that we don't really like, so we plan, like, also uh, what we've learned on building prosthetic devices, like bionic versions of the hand, there's some of the ideas that we have there that we want to implement here, but the, the InMove community is a very large community and they're like producing a lot of stuff. So even if you just sit down, a lot of new things are coming. So right now we're mostly concentrating on trying to get the telepresence thing working, 
and then we can give that back to the community, right? And then, you know, it's, it keeps improving every single day. You guys are putting all the software on your website. These are, again, are all parts and designs that people out there can buy and download. Uh, it's an awesome project. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thanks. It's Thanks very great to meet you.